Hello and welcome to the session on the training about Plaxis Automation Basics, in which we will see how to use the scripting reference. When dealing with Plaxis Automation with Python, it is important to first understand the anatomy of the command in Python. The typical question is, what is the correct syntax of my Plaxis command in Python? Let's take a simple example of the rename command. In the first line, we can see how the command looks in the Plaxis command line. Rename being the command name, point one being the target object, and my point in quotation marks being the parameter. In the line below, you can see that in Python, the target object goes first, followed by the command name, and within the parentheses, the parameters, including the quotation marks. Plaxis provides a Python scripting reference, which is available for the Connect Edition. This reference is based on Jupyter Notebooks and can be found under the Help menu for both Plaxis 2D and 3D. Using it requires activating the remote scripting server and it launches on your default internet browser window. The scripting reference includes full examples of all commands and it covers both Plaxis input and output programs. The typical workflow when it comes to using the scripting reference is as follows. First, you need to identify the command to run in Python. That can be done using the graphic user interface or by checking the command line session. You can also use the help command reference. Then you have to launch the scripting reference, find the command in the alphabetical order, click on the command name, run either cell by cell or by running all cells. Then the notebook runs the given example and provides a response. And then you can check also the progress and the exact response of Plaxis input. A similar process can be done when using the scripting reference for the output program. First, you have to start from input program, as in order to use any output commands, a model should already exist in input. Then following the same logic, we identify the command to run in Python, using the graphic interface or by checking the command line. Again, using the command reference can be of help. Then we return to our scripting reference. We start the input server. We find the command in the alphabetical order for the output. We run the commands cell by cell. Then the notebook returns our response of that command. And we can always check the exact command in the Plaxis output. It is also possible to create your own Jupyter Notebooks. You would need to start from an open page of the scripting reference. Then you will need to click on File, Open. The files will be shown in the default directory, depending on your Plaxis version. You can click on New and Plaxis Python 3, that is on the right side of the window, as indicated on the screenshot on the right hand side. Then you can start working on the untitled notebook. You can type your code and your comments. Make sure to save as the file. The path is always relative to the default directory and store it in the folder so that you can find it later on. It is also possible to upload a local Jupyter notebook via a local host page and to open it directly via the expert menu Python Jupyter notebook in Plaxis. Let's see now how using the Python scripting reference looks directly in Plaxis 2D. Let's start Plaxis 2D input program so that we can run the scripting reference. The scripting reference is under help menu at the top of your application. Selecting it will bring the configure remote scripting server window from which you can start the server. Soon after some code will run in the background and a new page will open on your default internet browser. You can see that the scripting reference contains information for the relevant application. For now, I will place it on the right side of my screen so that we can see the input program as well. The information covers both input and output programs in an alphabetical order, as well as some sample scripts. Let's start with an input command and specifically the array R command. In the new page that opens, the description of the command and the available alternatives are written in Python code. To run the code, I have already selected the first cell in the Jupyter Notebook and I click on Run. 
you can see that the highlighted cell has moved down, so the next time I click on run, that cell will be executed. The first code cell starts a new project. The second cell contains our first alternative for the RAR command. You can see that the command executed is also in the Plaxis command line. I will continue the same process until I have run the second alternative. And the third alternative mentioned in the Jupyter Notebook. I will now move to an output command and specifically the get results command. In this case, we will see that we have some functions defined in order to be able to run the get results command as we need to have a fully calculated model. The alternatives for the command start after these functions are defined. To start the alternative 1, I will need to run all the preview cells though. And now the alternative 1. You can see that input creates a new model geometry, materials, selecting curve points, and finally, calculating the analysis. Output opens again, and you can see the get results command being run in the Plaxis command line. The same can be done for the rest of the alternatives provided in the Jupyter notebook. Note that the functions defined at the beginning of the notebook do not need to be run again.